Hey everybody, me and the uh, AT Pro are out digging by ourselves today. Uh, I uh, hit one little lot earlier, but uh, didn't find much. And so I come over to another spot that uh, has found we found a few things at lately. And uh, this doesn't have any markings on it, but there's no doubt in my mind at all that that's silver. So I can get to focus. We don't have much light out here. There we go. Uh, haven't seen any markings on the inside of it or anything. But it came out just like that, so I have no doubt that's silver. Uh, I'm going to buy me a test kit so I can start testing some of this stuff myself. Get back to you on the next one. Hey everybody, it's been uh, probably an hour and a half or so since I found that little silver piece. And right here between my legs was a plug, and I found this neat little uh, <laughs> pull tab, a neat little uh, spinders clip. Hard to see them over here in the shade. Uh, and just moved a couple feet in that hole, and there was a Oklahoma tax token. Uh, it's pretty corroded, but I'll clean it up when I get home. Later. Hey everybody, not finding a whole lot. Um, just going along a sidewalk strip right here. And uh, just found one of these old Model T. Um, it's the base where the valve stem cover goes down into it. Still has the uh, silver plating left on it. They're real decorative. Get back to you, find something else. Well, the gang's all out today. I got. Uh, G-Man Tuna Can, Pulse Pull Tab Finder, and 65 Fozzie B are all out with us digging today. Uh, my first find was, was this, Palm Olive uh, Dental Cream Square Token, my first square token I've ever found. It's in great shape. And then I just pulled this out, little junker ring, it's kind of falling apart. It's just a junker. Get back to you, find something else. Well, I closed up the hole with the junker ring in it and uh, scanned over it, which you're supposed to do. And uh, this was in there. Uh, not sure what it says. I'm going to let it dry and then get more detail off of it that way. It looks like some sort of token. Well, it's been about 15 minutes since I dug that uh, ring and that token. Uh, I had a 84-ish signal here that was sounded kind of deep. Uh, I dug down in there a ways, was probing around with my pinpointer, and uh, it started going off and wouldn't stop. And it sure looks like a little silver coin to me. Let's take a look together, see if I can get it here in the frame. Oh yeah, it's going to be a Merc. Let's see if we can see a date on here without scratching it up. Looks like uh, 42. I'll clean her up and show you at home. Hey everybody, it's a little noisy with the traffic here. Uh, this is a uh, different spot uh, been bulldozed and it's a lot of washout for going I'm up a hill right here and come down so I've been working this for the so we've had a lot of rain lately I mean tons and uh, so I was hitting this where it's washing out and I believe I haven't picked it up yet it was sitting just like that on the surface I went over my detector and it was real loud I'm pretty sure that's a wheat right on the surface yep sure is Cool, surface wheat fine. Get back to you, find something else. Hey everybody, got out uh, once by myself and once with the guys this weekend and uh, did a little digging. Uh, didn't find a whole lot, but got a few things to show here. Uh, a few zinc pennies, uh, some coppers, a nickel, a few dimes, one quarter, so just a little bit of clad. Uh, did find this ladle 
spoon. It says um, on the back, I've never seen one like this, and it's kind of the plating, you can actually see it if it, this thing would focus, you could see it curling up. Um, but on the back it says uh, extra silver coin plate. So it's uh, got a heavy silver plating on it. You can see where it's curling up right there. But anyway, kind of a cool find. Uh, I dig a lot of these. Um, what I understand this is, and I, I've talked about them before, that's the base to valve stem cover for a Model T Ford. Usually they're nothing but just corroded rust and hardly even can tell what they are. This is the best looking one I've ever found. It actually still has some plating on it. So that was kind of cool. Um, suspenders clip. It's all there. Probably not real old. Uh, I did get some good tokens. Um, this one, I'm, I don't know what it is. It almost looks like a, maybe a 94 on it. Sorry about the dog barking in the background. Um, a tax token. A really nice palm olive token, um, Colgate palm olive. This is good for ten cents on purchase. Uh, uh, can make that one line out there totally. Uh, Colgate's ribbon dental cream. And of course, the back side's got uh, all the information for the. Right there, you can see it says druggist on how to redeem the token but uh, that was my first square token so that was really cool um, this ring right here it's just kind of started falling apart it's a cracker jack ring and I took it out of the out of the hole it's kind of a cool old cracker jack ring it's just like a cheap aluminum or pot metal or something but um, this was in the hole with it. This is what I was actually picking up on. And um, it says merc uh, or Farmers mercantile, mercantile. And I believe down here at the bottom, it's a name of a town in uh, Nebraska. And on this side, um, it says good four, and it looks like a two. It's really hard to make out, so I don't know if it's uh, two cents or twenty-five cents or two. And I'm, I'm hoping it's two and a half. I may. Um, this is like some sort of copper or brass, so I may set me up an electrolysis and see if I can't get a little more detail off of this. So I'd like to know if it's a if it's like a two and a half cent, if it's one of the, the uh, fractional tokens, would be really cool because that'd be a first. And I uh, got a really nice 36 suite. So got some great detail. It needs, still needs just a little bit of cleaning, but I uh, have to look at what my uh, 36 suite in my one cent, small cent uh, album looks like. And if it's not, if it's more worn than this one, then I'll replace it with this one because this one's a really nice shape. And then I found this. It's uh, I have no doubt that it's silver, but I believe it's probably hand or homemade or handmade, however you want to say it. Uh, you can tell it's a little bit bent, but I don't think it was actually really evenly made there. I think they or they bent the the legs that went down. You can see they got a real heavy solder on the inside there, so this thing's really stuck together well. Um, one of the guys says he thinks it might be a neckerchief slide. Uh, it's pretty small. Um, there's just a penny right there. I'm thinking it could have been on the on a woman's belt this way, but it is definitely silver. It's not marked, but there's no doubt in my mind it's silver. And the guys all looked at it and they all said the same thing. And uh, as you saw. I got in my clips. I got uh, 142 Merc. That was the one that was stuck to the end of my my uh, 
pinpointer. That was kind of odd. I stuck that pinpointer in that hole, pulled it back out, and it was still going off. But I was real happy. It's the first silver coin I've gotten in a while. I've, I found some silver, but not a silver coin. So happy with that. I'll uh, get back to you when I find some more. Everybody uh, have good luck and happy hunting.